Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, the Golden State Warrior star maintained he understood Kevin Durant's depart departure to the Brooklyn Nets. He remains patient with recovering from an ACL injury in his left knee that wa will sideline him for the beginning of the 2019 to 2020 NBA season. He appeared refreshed from a summer filled with rehab and relaxation. Thompson became bothered though with what President Donald Trump said about the Bahamas following the destruction that Hurricane Dorian inflicted on his father's homeland. Trump warned about the government admitting Bahamians into the US saying that the 700 island nation has some very bad people and some very bad gang member and some very very bad drug dealers. I didn't appreciate the language he used with Bahamians. Thompson told USA Today Sports, they're gang members and criminals. I've known Bahamians my whole life. Yes, they are criminals in Nassau, but they are criminals worldwide. When you lose everything, your home, your loved ones, and thousands are dead, and then you generalize the whole population, I thought it was very, very ill-advised and bad timing. That language really ticked me off. Thompson said the words hurt my heart and compelled him to call out Trump in an Instagram post that promoted the second annual Thompson Family Foundation. The, the annual Thompson Family Foundation Celebrity Golf Tournament and Pelican Hill Resort on Thursday and Friday. The Thompson family plans to don donate all of his proceeds to relief efforts in the Bahamas, including food and medical supplies. Michelle Thompson, Clay's father, told USA Today Sports that the family feels confident it can give at least $1 million. He's wrong about the gang affiliations over here. Michael said there are people over there that are good people, hard-working people, so he was wrong with that statement. I don't think other Americans have misconceptions about Bahamians. We don't have gang problems at that type of hard problems in the Bahamas. We have people who are in need and in poverty, but for, for the most part, Bahamians are great people and help each other in times of need. That's why they're doing right now. That's what they're doing right now. The Thompson Family Foundation raised money last year at TEPC Harding Park in San Francisco for charities in Oakland, the Bahamas, Los Angeles and Portland. Shortly after Hurricane Dorian inflicted damage on the place that Clay calls a second home, the Thompson family shifted priorities. Clay and Michelle say, say, said their family has remained spared since they live in Nassau. Others have not been unfortunate. Clay has spoken with various members of the Bahamian national basketball team, all of whom have delayed stories about losing their homes. It's hard to even put it in perspective, Clay said. If I can raise awareness and get money to get supplies to these people and their family, it's the least I can do. I'm just honored to be in this position. That is it for today, today's news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.